Okay, so we went back, we grabbed the other blueprint. Didn't bother looking for the plate painting because I don't really care about that. But that's it, I got my blueprint. Don't know what it does because we knocked out the black market chick beforehand, but we got the next mission, so we'll be fine. All right, number five. Another strange visit. You've awoken, or you've awakened with a strange feeling. It's gonna be the outsider again. Then maybe there are a couple of things that I could grab from here. No, I don't have my powers while I'm in this room. Fine, whatever, I'll just leave. Oh, the door opens up this time. Uh, but that's not... The void again. It's pleasant. But it feels different. Why, is it gonna be Delilah? We saw that we have some plant things. Delilah's shtick is like a lot of plant stuff. Flowers, trees, creepy paintings of nature. I can pull you into this place. Oh, Jesus Christ, I was the right. The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned Emily into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. Yeah, I don't know if that's she true or not. At? Maybe how is the question? Oh my god, this place is... Like, look at that, what the fuck is that supposed to be? Whispers from the past. I'm not gonna really, like, even if it's true that you're Jessamine's sister, you kinda just froze your sister's daughter in stone and tried to kill her daughter's father. I don't, I'm not, you're not getting any sympathy votes from me. That's not happening. Oh. During the day, Jessamine and I played games in the tower. But at night, I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. Woohoo! Kids lie? What? Holy shit! Oh my god, dude, kids are fucking terrible. I even have a story where, like, fucking, I had, I had like a neighbor, and I'll tell more of this as this goes on. But I had a neighbor who lied the shit out of it in a certain scenario, and it was really fucking annoying. Mother and I saw the nastiest parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. Wait, what's my- what, what, what was it my turn for? Kicked off while you were out begging. Use another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. A way out? Ugh. Uh, I don't know if I trust the giant 
glowing gateway. What if I walk away from it? What if I say no to Delilah? Okay, all right, hey, this puts me back here to fall off. Fine, yeah, whatever. Again, I don't care if you're Delilah's sister or not. You fuck shit up for incredibly dumb reasons. How much of this is true, and how much is Delilah's warped imagination? Those are questions I would love to have answered, maybe by the outsider, but he's like, yeah, no, I'm cool. I'm staying away from that shit. That shit storm. All right, meet with Megan Foster and Anton Sokolov to discuss the next steps in your effort to take down Delilah and the Duke of Sirkanos. Fifteen years ago, the Loyalist Conspiracy asked me to kidnap Anton Sokolov, and I did. I took him from his home to the pub we were hiding in and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? He laughed at us. He told dirty stories, taught Emily more than her governess could in six months. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Am I going to tell anybody about my, my little experience there with Delilah? Because, uh, that was pretty, pretty bad. Oh, Jesus. Jessamine, Delilah's stronger now. Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? Of course not. She's driving all of this. Our decisions have weight. I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. Well, it's a nice way to be like, and no more heart thing. So, story time before we walk out of this room. All right, so a long while ago, when I was like seven or eight, I had a neighbor and the neighbor had a ton of things that I didn't. He had an Xbox, he had a GameCube at the time, I didn't and I hung out a lot with this kid. We played a lot of games and co-op and competitively. And one night, I went back home and the neighbor's father starts banging on the door and he asks, Hey, so one of the games he owns is missing. We want to know if your kid took it. I'm like, no, I didn't take it. Because I didn't. I had not taken the fucking game. And they take me to the house and... He just keeps on saying that, that I took it, that I took it. And my mother starts fucking beating me for an hour in front of this other family to try and get me to spill the fucking beans about it. And eventually they pat him down and find out he had the game disc in his pocket the entire time. My mother didn't even offer a fucking apology for an hour of fucking hitting me in front of this other family. <laughs> so yeah, kids can be fucking awful. So can parents. So yeah, fuck them all. You know, fuck them all. I'm like, oh, is she playing breaking an expensive thing on me? Yeah, yeah, it happens. They lie because they're terrible. For a man of his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see that you're still with us. Thank you for helping, Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. I'm working on that. Believe me, the Duke has my full attention. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I'll do what I can, Alexandria. Yeah, I mean, the choice is gonna be pretty binary, usually. It's always gonna be, oh, uh, kill or don't kill. 
And so if you kill, suddenly it's like, oh, uh, hmm, we can we can do something about this, I suppose. We can we can have this terrible person take over because they wanted you to kill the people. And if you don't kill, then it's like, oh, uh, here's this really okay individual. Maybe good. I don't know. Some like Hypatia is pretty solid. I wish there was something I could remember to help in your efforts. I mean, she literally helped with the poor. <laughs> and that's kind of like the... One of the biggest things you'd be like, Yeah, I, I help the poor and I make sure that they stay healthy. And I do it all for like no cost at all. Innocent. We need more people like her. Alright, what do we got here? This chapter will focus on it, uh, Edithia Abel, steward of Calero. With sword in hand, she swept the marshes of raiders, sacrificing her life for Sicanos. We will provide newly uncovered insights into the exploits of Rabinos Abil, who built the ornate wooden bridges of Sugonto. Follow along as we map out the expansions occurring under the Abels, uh, through which trade routes to the other isles were established, bringing riches to the nation-state. Even as waves of settlers continue to join Sicanos from Mar uh, Morley, the Abels balance growth against their Conan culture. In later chapters, we will detail the times of Theo uh, uh, Theodanus Abel, true son of Sarkanos. Brave and benevolent, he united the East and West as no other before him. Even the rowdy people of Bastillion swore loyalty to him. One Isle, one Sarkanos, united under House Abel. I, I, I keep on saying Abel, but I think it's like Abel. Abel. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying Abel. Lately, or lastly, we will settle on Luca Abil, who rules today, partaking in feasts and merriments of all kinds, bringing joy to our fair isle. I like how they're like, he's partaking in feasts and merriments of all kinds. Fuck, we gotta make it positive. He's bringing joy to us! He's totally not a really terrible leader. Gosh. Oh, hello. Licia Pastor. Dear Dr. Hypatia, I couldn't be happier about the news you gave me. The people here in Dust District desperately need someone like you. I understand that you cannot see patients in Adamire anymore, and that it's too dangerous to go back to your apartment. I'll arrange something. We'll find you a safe place to hide and give free consultations as you suggested. Look at that! She's giving free consultations! I'll send word about it via the Minor Families Committee and some friends and I ha or have at the Silver Spike newspaper. Welcome back to the city. Gosh. We should make her rule the lands, but, you know, as a doctor, she might not know what the hell she's doing. Sokolov! Jindos wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindos would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Corvo did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindos. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. So could you have actually helped with anything? Corvo. Oh. Anton. The Lord Protector has risen. A bad night. Oh, you have. Maybe you've been no sleeping idea. on goose feathers too long. Oh, don't you start. Sit down when you want to talk. Don't you start with me, Megan. All right, I you helped out with everything. Into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few allies. Trip to the markets. Megan, I've thought of a few things I need when you go into Karnaka. I'd get them myself, but you know what it's like for these old bones to walk so far. I need a smaller shirt. Seems everything I own falls off me now. And you're right, I suppose I need some soap, and a good hair tonic for my beard and what's left around the sides of my skull. You liked the Tivian stool I made last week, so if you'd like to have that again, get lamb if you can afford it. If not, don't worry. My appetite isn't what it used to be. A bit of bread and a few shrimp will get me through most, most days, but don't forget the wine. If it's not too much, I could use more paints. I'm out of cerulean, ochre, and ultramarine. He does have these really amazing paintings. Delilah Copper Spoon. Or is it called one? We may never know. Oh, look, there's a stun mine here. Crap. I didn't have to rob that chick after all! Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak. But it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and she has Emily. Anton, once we had you in a cage and you dared us to kill you, I need that man back. Corvo, she's right. 
I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. The curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous. As obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. Oh gosh. She's probably gonna have to deal with all the, uh... We're probably gonna have to deal with all the witches and stuff with her. She's more into the occult than Delilah! No! There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate. Which surprises me, given all that's happened. Well, I mean, I have been keeping everybody alive. I've been trying, at least. Maybe I should begin a series of bloodfly-related sketches. Infested corpses and the like. Why? <laughs> you want to impress the chick over in the other room? I've never paid a visit to the Royal Conservatory, but allegedly it has a number of unique pieces. The familiar creaks and groans of the dreadful whale. I lie awake listening, just to remind myself I'm safe again. We need to get you a better couch, man, or just bench. This is really tiny for you. Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. I get out, because I hold up there's a book behind Anton. Uh, I think we already read this one. How many pieces are there? Ah, here we go. Dear passengers, I'd like to offer my apologies for being uh, apologies for being such a grumpy captain. First to Anton, who I called a senile old goat when he decided to bring live blood flies abo aboard for study. Not a single day passes without me staring in delight at those little marvels of nature. Second, my apologies to whoever broke the bloodfly tank, allowing them to flutter down to the engine room, who are bringing joy to the sad uh, boat of mine with the gentle humming of their soft wings. I deeply regret, uh, regret calling you a clumsy sack of guano. But now that we've, uh, we've all had time to enjoy their charming company, can someone please exterminate every last bloodfly on my ship? Megan. I didn't break it. That wasn't me. I made sure not to break it this time. Oh, shit. All right, well, we got a little side mission to do. Medicinal supplies are low. I might have to go out for extract of blood ox liver and some lechate thistle seeds. You're just pointing at blank papers. If I don't see you again, you've got my ongoing gratitude. Oh, all right. I'll make up some more medicines for Sokolov. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. I just, I really wanted to see if I could attack people on this ship and I figured I probably can't swing my sword but I wonder if I can toss something else Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the royal conservatory oh jeez medicinal supplies are low I might have to go out for extract of blood ox liver and some seeds I'm trying to get the the side mission back read the thing exit out You know, I could have broken that and, like, killed all the flies a long time ago. I wonder if it would have remembered that. Dude. I got him! Alright! What do I get for it? I might not get anything at all. Just a nice thing to help out with. Well, the rats, too, you know? I'm helping with the ship. 
You'll be a lot more comfortable around here without rats gnawing at your feet and blood flies infecting you completely. Oh, I didn't realize I could write again. Maybe I reloaded before that. Thank you. Oh, it's something I should say to your face, but that's hard for me. Thank you for what you did, bringing Anton back. What would I have done without him puttering around the ship, mumbling and stroking his greasy beard? I wanted to find him on my own, but hearing what you went through, I'm impressed. Anyway, enjoy this bottle from the Captain's Reserve. Uh, Captain's Reserve. Good stuff I got from an aristocrat. Wanting quick passage out of Karnaka a while back. You won't need it now that Anton is back, if you want to sleep. His snoring cuts through the bulkhead. <laughs> Sweet! Got me some wine! I can't drink it though. No. Alright, let's get out of here. Hey, Adam Meyer Institute. I don't even know exactly where we're going. We'll take the skip. I think we're going to the conservatory. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. See? Ready to go? Yes, let's yes, go. Let's go. All right, the Royal Conservatory. While held captive, Anton Sokolov learned the identity of one of Delilah's chief allies, Brianna Ashworth, an architect of the coup that took the throne in Dunwall. Ashworth is powerful and full of secrets. She is building a mysterious device for Delilah. Brianna Ashworth must be eliminated. There'll be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Bunch of people Someday possibly like imbued with outsider about powers. You met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me. Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Ooh. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. All right. We're gonna use the Overseers to our advantage. But the first things first, we need to explore the area, take out every single person along the way. And maybe, just maybe, find some blueprints. Okay, I'm checking out this area back here. It's a bathtub. <laughs> That's about it. Nothing inside of it. Well, at least I'm not being devoured by hagfish. Liam Burns information, the Royal Conservatory. All right. We gotta learn the layout of this place. Uh, Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she wants. Hey, everybody! I like to play cards. Toss the dice once in a while. Who doesn't? I got a bit of a cough. <laughs> Nothing serious. <laughs> hey, thanks for the 20 coins. He just reached to where his this thing was. That's funny. This one? They only do business with him because they fear what will happen if they don't. You will have drinks. He feels like Move away. Now. Jesus, dude, fine. If you're looking for trouble, you're gonna find it. I just wanted to find out about you and you fucking interrupted that. I didn't even hear what she says because I was like looking at his weapon. That is a smart idea. I shouldn't break the rules from the get-go. If ever, if you warn me one more fucking time, I'm gonna shoot you. Well, no more, thank you. Place is a dump any.
All right, let's see what's inside of his ship. He has a pallet or a newspaper thing, a couple of things that you could get money from. Okay, not really much, not really much. Wasn't even worth him trying to fucking threaten me. And yet he did it anyways. Yet he did it anyways. Move away, now. I don't want you guys to freak out that everyone's asleep. I'll just put you in your bur- your boat, your bur- <laughs> So that way you can do some work in there once you wake up. You're not going anywhere, you're just going for- just having a nice comfy sleep. I'm gonna eat this just so I don't keep on having it here. Alright. Palaces don't make kings. Read further at your own peril, my friends, for the truth is a dangerous thing. Any inbred highborn or even the luckiest commoner can wind up living in a mighty tower with a fancy title before their name. Those we consider to be made of finer material are in fact just as rough cuts as the, ref as the rest of us, guided by irrational terror and petty grievance. Did Jessamine Caldwin deserve our respect, or did she deserve the knife? Was the former Duke Theodanus a bill a fine ruler, as some say? Well, good readers, that depends on your perspective. Are you the craftsman struggling to profit on your fine cabinets? Or are you the woodsman selling your lumber for the highest price? Maybe again, you're the local lawkeeper applying a tax to the woodcutting or the sale of the furniture. Truth is a variable. Consider Emily Caldwin or her infamous father, royal protector Corvo Otano. How did the empire fare beneath them, good or ill? And now it's Delilah, painter and some say a cult figure. What will her time as empress bring you and me down on the streets? None of the snots living in a palace know anything about the Dust District, even Lord Cove or Atano, despite being born here. Would he recognize the place now? And would we recognize him? I mean, I haven't been there for a long time, so I mean, it's not really much of an insult to say I don't know about the place. This is kind of a given, right? Ooh, hey! Bunch of stuff. I can't carry any more rewired tools. These expensive ass things, I can only carry five of. That is ridiculous, but okay. I'll try and use one or two eventually. And grab one on the way back. Oh, right. Hide the, hide the bodies. Hide the bodies before something bad happens. Don't want a guard to like walk by over here and be like, Whoa, what's going on over here? Now I'm covered in shankers. Alrighty, come with me, friend. You're gonna wake up with all your other buddies down here. Hey, what you owe? Uh, what if I say no? <laughs> you know, it'd be interested to play this game with no powers. And try to be like as stealthy as possible because it's totally possible, right? You just fucking, you just know the exact layout of the place, the exact timing of certain patrol routes, and so you just do crazy stuff. You're like, all right, I'm just doing no power run. I jump from building to building. I don't have to worry about anything. Nice. She forbids her servants from leaving the house or her employment ever. Does that mean she, like, kills people? <laughs> See, why'd you have to go and ruin it? I was just gonna make sure you had a better sleep. Alright, so what do we got in this area? We have a lot of stuff. Holy shit. There's an outsider shrine. So if I wanted, I could definitely get up to... Having time bend. Soon. <laughs> I still don't have it. It's pretty ridiculous. And that's my fault. I've been focusing on so much. I thought I was going to have a lot more. 
But I'm going to try. I think I'm going to actually... I'm going to see what I can get with um, the bone charm crafting stuff first. Like, how many... Uh, how much well bone does it take to make a rune? That's what I want to know. Now, what does it say? Mine collapses. Numerous casualties. A representative from the Miners Family Committee reports that another silver mine has partially collapsed, leaving eight miners injured and killing twelve. The committee maintains that the Duke's unrealistic production goals were the, cul or the true culprit, citing the overlong shifts that have been in practice since miner owner, owner Aramis Stilton disappeared. The mines are now managed directly by the Grand Palace until such a time as Stilton returns, or until a new director can be found. However, the Grand Palace's official statement blamed the collapse on human error and threatened to arrest anyone found guilty of demoralizing the people of Karnaka. We at the Karnaka Gazette certain, uh, certainly support the effort to maintain Sir Kano's unity. Our thoughts go to the families of those injured or killed. God, it's like these people don't know how to run governments. Just like, yeah, be complete assholes to everybody. How do I fucking grab you? I mean, I guess I could just leave her here. She's not going anywhere. 